Hey YouTube, this is Don and today I would like to apologize for delaying a Halloween special, but better late than never. But anyway, I'm gonna review a Halloween special of a of an unusual zombie game called Zombie U on the Wii U. This game was now this game was made by Ubisoft. It was originally ported on the Wii U, but found its way on the PS4, the PlayStation 4, the PC, and the Xbox One. Now, let's just uh, get into the game and, and have a look. Now, this game was made by Ubisoft. And, honestly, I feel like this game's kind of underrated. Even Nintendo fans were skeptical about it. Now, this game takes place in London during a zombie outbreak, where everyone is a victim of being a zombie. Now this game is all about survival, and you play as the only survivor in this disaster. Oh, and the Wii U gamepad says, how long will you survive? Now, the multiplayer mode... Before I start the campaign, I want to know that that this is what the multiplayer mode says. You play as the King Zombie on player 1, and player 2 you play as the Survivor. Right now you were playing the, the, the Pro Controller of the Wii U, or the Wii Remote with the Nunchuck Controller. Now, it doesn't have an online mode, first of all. Now, now going back to what I said, unfortunately, you don't battle enemies like as if as if it say an action packed shooter even though there are guns in the game in the game no in the game but no instead you try to survive rather you um sometimes rather you sometimes kill a zombie or two or stay out of sight and scavenging items and sneak around like a rat. Now let's play the campaign though, just to give you the idea of what the game is like. There's my, uh, there's my save file. Ugh, that sound would scare you. Here's the intro of the game. Yeah, this is London, alright. But anyway, and your guide is some strange voice that helps you throughout London and talks to you, mostly in through labyrinths beneath the city. You also find passageways where you can get some sleep and store supplies and save your game and whoever comes next. The controls are kind of the controls are kind of stiff overall. And supposedly and um hang on a sec. Now, so yeah, basically, you can also save your supplies to whoever is next, and, like, to the next survivor, so I would recommend, you know, um, saving the items for the next survivor in case your player dies. Now... So basically, the objective of the game is to see how long you survive, even though it's a campaign mode. This is different from most campaign modes of every game I've ever seen. When you die, you start back at the safe house as a new person. So be sure to save your supplies somewhere at the bed, or you'll have to find your former self to... Um, to scout to salvage items from before this before your former self finds you. Now there's a survival chart that shows uh, 
that shows a sorry that shows how long you your survivor survivor has survived on the walls of London Oh, you can also use a machine gun, nice. What a bloody mess. Sure, God save That's the a voice I was talking about. Looks like the plebs wanted to go along for the ride. Yeah, sorry I'm trying to try my best, but Yeah, also you can use a radar or something. You also got a health bar, but Um Whoops, sorry. Pause this. Uh now Honestly I never played a survival game like this before. And also, the big noises can attract zombies, which is the worst. As for the Wii U gamepad, it can also be used to show the map of the area, and also manually drag items into your backpack, while the TV screen shows the scene around your character to look out for zombies, which is pretty handy overall. But overall, the controls are stiff, and there's no online mode, sadly, for this game. And overall... But overall, the game, this is pretty much one of the most different zombie games I've ever played in my entire life, actually. Yeah. I'm not really, I'm not really fond, I'm not really sure about myself with this game. Because it's not like, it's not really the same as Zombie Army, it doesn't Easily comparable with, like, say, Zombie Army Trilogy or Call of Duty Zombies or Resident Evil. In fact, it's a completely different game where simply all you have to do is survive as long as you can, and that's basically it. Oh, and that's this trigger button, ZR, uses your weapon, and the ZL will. You know, aim your will make you aim your weapon. Now the instructions did say that you have to aim your weapon in order to fire your weapon. So yeah, it does go in the, after all, it's, overall it is first person. So in conclusion, so in conclusion, I'm not sure if this is the type of game I would recommend going out and play, but even though it's, eh, kind of step, skeptical overall, but if you don't, but if this is, if you just can't get enough zombie survival games, and if you don't care about good endings, this is for you. Now, I don't know what the other console versions are like, but I might get the PS4 or Xbox version. 
just to compare the two. Because this is a complete... It, the Wii U version overall is like its own version. So, yeah. This is Zombies U. But, hopefully you guys had a happy Halloween despite the pandemic. Or at least at the time that this video was recorded. So, yeah. So, yeah. Subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. And be sure to hit a like if you like. If you still like the video. Be sure to. Be sure to comment. Hit the notification bell to be notified of what videos are coming up next. I mean, what videos are being uploaded. And, yeah. I'll see you on the next video. Hopefully you have a good Halloween. And, and that's me signing off.